So for anyone that's followed my channel for a while, you know that nine months ago I started a little journey on Decade and how it was kind of going to change my game. It was something that was new to me, I hadn't seen before and certainly hadn't been discussed in the golfing world ever really. So in those videos I'd obviously shared information that Scott had done, obviously sharing that it was Decade and it wasn't my own ideas and also sharing data that had He'd used from the Golf Stat Pro, Lou Stagner. However, news to me is there's trouble in paradise. They're not together anymore. Lou's gone to Arcos. Scott ain't happy about it. So I followed Scott on Twitter and saw this pop up on my news feed. Um, he's going on about IP, ethics, plagiarism. room. Um, <laughs> basically saying he's had enough. He's just going to call it a day. Um, hashtag not decade. And it was quite interesting to see the feed that kind of followed this. As I say, there's a couple of people that I do follow as well myself that have kind of chipped in, seeing how they feel about it, talking about legalities, legal fees, and how decades helped them, how amazing it's been for them, how much of a game changer it's been really. But I think people were quite shocked as well. So there was quite a lot of surprise of what, what's really happened what companies it could possibly be. Going backwards and forwards through it, it's quite obvious that it is Arcos um, that he's referring to. I initially thought it might have been no laying up. I know that um, they don't always see eye to eye um, because he's not, not into disinformation and sometimes no laying up do put some controversial content out there, which, as I say, Scott doesn't agree with. And he's saying, you know, according to his system, that's just bad information to put out to people. So what are the problems about and why has there been a fallout? Well, Decade obviously used Lou to help them with the data, help them crunch the numbers, um, take PGA Tour stats and see how it would apply, the theories of Decade would apply to real golfers, um, normally using PGA Tour pros, but still seeing how it applies to people. And I think one of the main issues that first comes up is that Lou's gone to a direct competitor, he's gone to Arcos. Arcos uh, is starting to be one of the fastest growing brands that people are using to track their stats. I mean, I also assume that ShotScope is going to be up there as well. And then Decade offers a slightly different platform, um, obviously it's a programme that people follow, rather than them say, self-leading and doing their own diagnosis. Decade has a programme that's built in to improve a golfer's decision making and in my opinion at least is much much better than the other stat collection devices that are out there yes you have to pay for it but so what you get what you pay for don't you i think the main concern is at the moment is that arcos through lou are trying to steal what decade have done so far and trying to use that within their algorithms this is just what i suspect um, and having a quick chat or a message with Scott confirms that he's not happy with the way they are doing business. If I show you their Twitter feed, you'll see that he's essentially saying that he's got IP, so he's got intellectual property over those ideas. What they're doing isn't right, and I believe he's going down legal channels, so it's starting to get a little bit messy. I mean, for those people that aren't aware of either of those systems, uh, Decade's more of a learning platform. I think that, you know, your shot scopes, your Arcos, your My Round Pro, which obviously I've shared on my channel, it's just a way of collecting the data. The good thing about Decade is not only do you collect your data, about four years you ago, also give would... you insights as well, like how can you improve your decision making. So if you play into the trees, how many shots are you losing on strokes gained? Now I know Arcos and Shot Scope are trying to develop that, but as time wears on, I think with the amount of money that's behind their brand, I think it's not the right way to do business, trying to steal, say, an entrepreneur's idea, uh, their process, uh, trying to sell it off as your own. Just think that's just not the way to do business. On Twitter, people have kind of caught on and, you know, in full support of Scott. It's hard, isn't it? I follow both of them on Twitter and I like what both of them do. I thought they complemented each other as a team. I think it's a real shame that 
they're not going to be working together anymore and there seems like there's a little bit of animosity there it'd be really interesting to get Luz and Arcos's ideas on this see if they feel the same way or if they're not willing to talk about the subject I think Scott's been really really open with the subject um, you know hats off to him really it's really hard isn't it we've all been there haven't we when you think of a really good idea you kind of implement that idea and then somebody swoops in and takes it as their own writes down their name saying yeah it's me that did that that's why it's really good uh, it's kind of a kick in the area isn't it I can kind of really sympathize with that so I've obviously messaged Scott and just said keep your head up mate uh, you keep you keep doing what you're doing all of us golfers that have looked into Decade know and understand why Scott's done it and why it's successful. And I think at this point, if you're into your stats and you're into your golf and you're into your improvement, I suppose it's showing where your, your brand loyalties lie, really. For me, at this point, I'm full on, oh, no, over there. I'm full on Decade, team send it. I'm putting my support behind Scott um, and his team and what he does and what he stands for I would kind of like to have the other side of the story I'm going to try and reach out to Arcos and see what they say about the situation but just think it smells a bit to myself um, that's not how I would like business to be conducted um, it's not not great going forwards I think they've both got a place in the market but a bit like when you got the Formula One. Sometimes, you know, team two can't beat team one. So they end up just stealing their ideas. I mean, morally, ethically, even if you do end up winning, it's not, you haven't exactly got the moral victory, have you? For me, I always think, if you're gonna win that way, I, I don't wanna win. So like I said, I am full team decade, team send it, whatever you want to call it. I'm fully behind Scott. I don't agree with what's happened from what I've seen from the outside. I'd obviously love to have uh, our cost to get back in touch and give their side of the story. Um, I don't know if they'll necessarily get in contact with a small channel like myself, but that's why I think it's important to support people like Scott. I've messaged him within a couple of hours. He's got back in contact with me and you know, given me a short message and said he appreciates the support. You know, that's what I'm buying into. Whereas you contact Arcos, you're probably just going to get customer services, aren't you? You're going to speak to somebody that's got nothing to do with golf um, and they're just taking queries from customers. That's what I like about Decade, a bit more of a personal approach. He's one man band in it as such and he's taking full ownership over the programme and his clients. So those are a little bit unsure about what intellectual property is. It's an idea, it's literacy, it's writing, it's artwork. So anything that's been written within decade, anything that is shared within seminars, then in theory can't be copied. And if it is copied, you know, can obviously be penalised and um, people can be fined, etc. So it'll be interesting to see how this one pans out. I'm going to keep a close eye on it. I'm going to continue following both of them online um, on Twitter and see uh, what's going on. I've put a few feelers out to, uh, say, my subscribers as well that are also following it. I said, if you find out anything or if you know that something's moved on in the case, then let me know because I'm obviously interested to know. Moving forwards with my own channel, uh, when the weather gets a little bit better in the UK um, and it's not so windy and cold and wet, um, I'm Picking decade straight back up, we're going to go full tilt, go through the programs, and we're going to see how it improves my golf. I'm going to see how it could improve your golf and give you a few things that you could think about going forwards into the new year for the season 2022. Roll on the Masters, roll on the spring and the summer. Let's get on board with decade, let's support them through this really tough time, and let's project send it. See you guys.